here. Okay, guys, this is my phone live right now. And I have an app on the bottom right corner, you can see a named Vexify. And on the left side, you can see a screen with two big boxes. The red one is uh, a hospital. We have mimicked a hospital that will be showing you that if you want to receive a vaccination certificate, how will that flow will be carried out? And then on the right side, uh, you see a green box, which has two logos and an international airline and some sort of a aviation thing. So this is where we will be showing you two of those uh, uh, use cases that, okay, if you wanna get your vaccination verified, either uh, while you're boarding your plane or while you're booking your ticket from your home online. So, uh, like I said, the demo is uh, split into two parts. Part one is getting the vaccination certificate as a person, as a holder, and of course, as an institute, you issuing it. So let's go, let's go here. Okay, so let's try out this demo. All right. There we go. And so how it will go like is that, uh, uh, a healthcare, you will go to a hospital, let's say, and uh, you will show your passport to, uh, you will say that, that, that you can, you want to get vaccinated, right? And uh, the, the health, the healthcare person will ask you for your digital, uh, for, for your physical ID, your passport or your CNIC or whatnot. And you give it to him. And then he checks that it belongs to you, uh, like, you know, KYC in person. And then he logs into his system and he sees this. He takes your passport and he puts your information into this uh, system. He puts your name, your gender, your document type, your document ID, in this case, your passport number. Let's put, um, for easy cases, CV um, X1, X12. All right. Um, all right. And then uh, he will take out a vaccination, of course, from his packet or whatnot. And then he will put information of that vaccination that he's going to give you in this form. For example, the batch number of the vaccination, the serial number, the, the name of the vaccination, manufacturer, uh, dose, what he's going to give you, and the expiry date, to when it's valid, all right, and who is the vaccinator himself, his, his own credentials. So once he's done filling your information and verifying who you are, uh, he will uh, vaccinate you. And at that point, uh, at that point he, will, uh, he will ask you to scan a QR code. Now, in this case, what you will be doing is you will be taking out your phone, a digital wallet app, just like Vexify, and you will be, you know, after you have done your onboarding for the first time, you create your passcode and uh, your biometric, uh, like password and everything, you know, to be more secure and everything. All right. So on the app, you can see there are three different. Uh, sections on the bottom, your actions, your certificates, and your connections. So connections shows who you are securely and encryptedly connected with, hospitals, airports, or whatnot. Certificate shows what kind of certificates you own, which means this can be broadened into many different horizons. Not only vaccination certificates, it could be more than that, depending upon what kind of digital information you want to verify. But let's stick to the use case. Um, and on the left, the actions, what needs to be done in order to either receive or give consent to verify your information. So um, when the doctor will vaccinate you, he will show you a QR code and you as a consumer is going to just open your app and scan a QR code. And you will receive a digital certificate request on your phone. So if you click it, you can see that this is the information that he filled out for you. And it shows that, that this hospital, Vcare University Hospital, is going to give you a SARS-CoV-2 vaccination certificate. Do you accept it? So it's my choice that do I want this? Do I want to own this certificate? Let's say if I say yes, I have to verif uh, biometrically verify myself in order to do so because um, security is important. Why not? And uh, the moment you give consent that you want to receive and own this vaccination certificate, the doctor will see uh, a simple button that he wants to authorize you a certificate. And once he clicks that, in a matter of seconds, 
you should be able to receive a vaccination certificate, which you will be finding in the certificate sections, uh, in the certificate section of your phone. And now you own this certificate, nobody else have access to it. And if you want to prove it, just like um, a paper-based certificate, which you, keep it, which you would keep it in your pocket, you can keep this digital certificate in your pocket. You cannot make copies of this digital certificate. It is digitally verifiable and it's secure in, in ways that you will find out. You can read the white paper definitely for the details. Uh, all right, so you can tap this and see that what information this vaccination certificate holds. And okay, so I own it. Let's just close it now. So this was the first part of the demo where I as a consumer can receive digital vaccination certificates from any institutes uh, in a digital manner. Now, uh, and in the connections you can see I'm securely connected with this particular hospital here. And uh, uh, yeah, so that being said, now the second part of it is, uh, the second part of it is, uh, the verification. I know, guys, I think we are uh, running a bit uh, uh, above time. So stick with me. I think we're, we're almost done here. So we'll be closing soon. So I think we'll late, uh, Hira, we started a bit late today, uh, like five minutes past. So give me those five minutes, please. All right. So uh, moving to the next part of the demo where you have to verify the certificate, we go to a website, uh, the demo website. And now we have these two options. Either you wanna do it on location or you wanna do it while booking on online. So let's say we go on location first. Um, so imagine you going to an airport, boarding your flight and the person is gonna give you your, uh, is gonna check in you and give you your boarding pass. The moment that before they give you the, your boarding pass, they ask you for your passport and um, you give them your passport and they put, uh, wait a second. Let me put this first. So uh, they ask you for your passport and you give them your passport and they put your passport number in the system. CX2, that was the one which was issued to. All right. And uh, they just show you a QR code that you have to scan, which we should see. Yeah, there it is. Uh, you open up your phone, you scan your QR code, and you see uh, a request by the civil aviation authorities on your phone, you open it, and then you see that they're requesting you for this information. Now it's up to you if you wanna give them consent for this information or not. And uh, let's say you do, you biometrically verify yourself that you want to do that. And within seconds, uh, this will start verifying your vaccination certificates. At this moment, the systems are doing the magic. They're talking to each other in a cryptographic manner, exchanging information about you, uh, only relevant information about you, which you want to share, of course, uh, and, uh, uh, and doing the magic. And within less than 10 seconds or so, your information reaches them and the person on the boarding uh, can just simply verify you and you know check that, okay, you are vaccinated and your vaccination is valid till 2030 and issued by this hospital and for this, uh, for this passport and what? So the second thing that comes to mind is what if you don't want to do it uh, face to face? You want to do it online, sitting at home. Um, so in that case, imagine you are just uh, doing your uh, uh, you're booking your tickets. All right. So let's say uh, you want to reserve your ticket from Lahore to Gatwick, London. Uh, and uh, you put your departure dates and whatever, and you move on. And then on the website of the airlines, it asks you that they need this information from you. Now, you can see that this information is all disabled. You cannot just fill it with your hands, with your keyboard or something. You need to verify this. So it is gonna ask you from your name, uh, from your date of birth, to document ID, to everything about your vaccination uh, for, for verification. Of course, this is just a sample information, so it can be increased or decreased based on the use case. And uh, of course, you put your own passport number there, which I have forgotten, CVX12. 
Let's see, X two. Right. And the process is pretty much the same. You uh, should be shown a QR code, which uh, you scan from your phone via your Vexify app. And you get a, a additional proof request uh, from NIA International Airlines. And they say that they are requesting you for this information. You say, sure, I want you to book me a ticket. So please verify my vaccination. And uh, the, the process is pretty much same. It, it, it communicates with uh, different servers, passes your information in a more encrypted manner, verifies your verifiable credentials, which is a concept that we have briefly mentioned in the white paper. So uh, I'm pretty sure that it will be a good read if you take it a look. Uh, yeah, so in a matter of seconds, your information is digitally pre-filled in an uneditable way on your form, which is verified already. So you can just move on and book your ticket. Simple as that. And that is it. Um, now I think I'm, yeah, I think I'm pretty much on time. Am I? You know. Yes, you are. Thank you so much uh, for the wonderful demo. I loved the idea.